All right, here we go. On your mark. On your marks. I disagree. <laughs> Get set. Get set. Go. You disgusting pig. Go. Look at them all go. <laughs> all right. And they do said. Everyone, welcome to another episode of Saturday Night Factional Flight Fight Plays Worm Online. Oh, it's getting late. Um, my name is Brian. This is my brother Adam over there, who always joins me. And this is a special event episode that we're doing. Uh, we all decided to go up to our old deed called Puzzle Labyrinth, and we. Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to talk a little bit about what Puzzle Labyrinth is and what we're what we're exactly we're why we're doing this and why we're here. We have a bunch of our villagers here that uh, came up with us, and they're actually doing a little bit of a contest to see who can get through the labyrinth first. I thought that was actually a good idea, uh, considering that Puzzle Labyrinth was our first ever project we ever worked on in this game, and uh, now we're almost coming full circle. Yeah, it's really exciting. I think it uh, is a cause for a little bit of celebration. You want a beer? Sure. Pass one over here. All right, here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Yep, no problem. Let's Grab open it yourself. up. Oh, get this shirt going. There we go. Uh, oh, I can even uh, pour it into my little uh, my little goblet cup here and drink out of this. So I saw them all go in, and this is great. It's like the perfect, uh, what we envisioned it would be. <laughs> so I opened the door to look, just to peek in to see what they're doing. And there's like all of them just sitting there reading the signs as they walk in here. Yeah, so let's, let's go up here and yeah. see what you're talking about. So basically, we designed Puzzle Labyrinth to not, to, uh, it's based off of, obviously, because we used the song, it's based off of the movie Labyrinth, okay? We love the movie Labyrinth and we thought, why can't we make an in-game version of like the labyrinth, the adventure, where the first thing you do is go into like this labyrinth area, get out of it if you can figure out a way out to the city, which we call Puzzle City, which leads to the castle with a big showdown against the uh, what did we call him, the Puzzle the King? Puzzle King, because <laughs> our place is actually called Puzzles. Uh, so if we just read these signs quickly, you know, the Puzzle King has stolen the village baby and taken him to the castle. Make haste to the castle beyond the gardens in Puzzle City and save the baby. And then of course a bunch of warnings that the labyrinth does take time, horses will get stuck so leave them in our stables, and that as are the villagers we will not help you <laughs> at, or in any way. Uh, and you might get hurt, so bring rags. But I did cut down on a, a lot of the uh, hurtful things in here. But uh, yeah, when we, when we first made this place, we we were like really lowly. Yeah, low, we like just started the we game. We had no or... skill at all, and by building this, ended up getting a lot of skill. <laughs> I mean, a lot of masonry skill. Look at all this yeah. stuff. Well, there's somebody. There's Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen She's at least three people across. come by the entrance. <laughs> uh, so anyway, because our, our deed is called Puzzles, uh, the actual labyrinth is filled with little tiny puzzles that we put, like riddles and things that, that uh, you go through. Uh, it's, it is designed to be really hard at the start. The labyrinth mm -hmm. is... Like, would you agree that it's very oh. hard to get to the city, but very easy to make your way back to the beginning? Yeah, we've had a people. Some people comment that, you know, you can go in and get lost, and you'll find the beginning very easily. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> finding how to get further into the labyrinth. Now, as you get further into the labyrinth, so as you get to the city and as you get to the castle, it becomes progressively 
easier and more mm. fun more of like yeah. the adventure so if you can make it to the city uh it does become more fun unfortunately the labyrinth is takes a lot to maintain even though we we deeded it it still has taken up a lot of our time so why don't we, we thought, start walking and talk about this sure we, we thought this would be the best to you know make a visual recording of this place that we love because we were almost thinking that you know we can't keep up maintaining this place like mm -hmm. it's been uh, about a year since we started this project uh, and it takes a lot of time oleander bushes placed there yes <laughs> <laughs> this place has come through so this is this is a place what we call puzzle gardens and you can sort of you know you can't see because of all these uh, trees you can't really see the next stage uh, we we have this chat here everyone in here is doing the labyrinth so if you can read that you can see what they're talking about and what they're saying uh, let's see Pekka I says <laughs> I want my <laughs> mommy and Chunk Lord says I found the oleander bush do I win yeah so <laughs> they're going through the labyrinth having fun oh who did I find oh, I found Kiwi Pekka. and found Pekka they're sort of going through well, let's follow Kiwi a bit as we talk about uh oh I lost you that's okay. I'll just <laughs> try to follow Kiwi, see what he's up to. Um, so that that's the history. Last year, we decided to come here with no skill, build this whole place. We built all these stone walls, tons of houses, built this entire labyrinth area, including a nice big colossus in the, you know, right in front of the castle. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah. But. So and we and because we might. I don't know. We might be shutting this place down after a little while. We, we're mm -hmm. doing kind of like this one last big hurrah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sad because I really don't want to shut it down, but the amount of maintenance that goes into this place, and we don't live close to here anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, and there's Kaneka. Let's follow <laughs> the switch per people. Oh, it looks like she's going through the oleander bush. So there was a lot that went into the design of this place. Um, we, we spent countless hours just in the design phase. We did. Um, yeah, remember like, we had, we had our little pads of paper and stuff. And yeah. We, we just designed it mostly on paper. We, we, a lot of like, uh, we went through many, many different designs. We probably uh, had about four different phases. The first phase where we had three of us, our cousin was working with us on this project and we were just r drawing maps of just I don't even think we knew the area that we wanted and we were just drawing mazes just to get the idea of, of mazes uh, into our minds and then we sort of scrapped a whole bunch of ideas and kept some good ones and we went through a second phase of designs after we knew the exact area um, we decided that this shouldn't be just a two-dimensional maze but um, should also include tunnels underneath, and the tunnels actually play a huge role. Which some of them solving. might not know yet, <laughs> but they yeah, will know, know after know. they watch. None, this none of these, yeah. Some of these guys <laughs> who are in the maze right now don't even know that there's a tunnel system underneath them. They're they're just wandering around right now. Um, they'll soon find out. What I like is at the beginning of of the labyrinth. You know, it's very clear. Make it to the <laughs> make it to the city. Make it to the castle. Yeah, you know what you have, and to you do. can see. The castle from the beginning just yeah. like the movie labyrinth you can see it in the distance and it's like that's where i need to go <laughs> like let's enter the labyrinth and see how to get there yeah and, and it's actually it, i don't know uh, um the labyrinth that we m ended up making we had a bunch of designs uh i remember we had traditional maze designs and like a whole bunch of different but i i decided that what this needed and you know oh, in hindsight beginning yeah, in hindsight, we actually did a very good job, I think, uh, yeah. picking this design. And I called it the Pac-Man maze, Hello. which Hi. basically comes down to that there's no dead ends anywhere. It is a continuous... There's just... Like, like look at this area. You can go this way, this way, or this way, and each yeah. way leads to other ways that you can go, and that you never make it to a dead end and have to turn around. Uh, we also designed it in a way that we're like, okay, you can't just keep going right, you can't just keep going left, and make it to the end. 
doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very... That was one thing that was really we were really conscious of, that uh, some mazes you design them, and if you just keep making oh. every right turn that you possibly can make, you'll get to the end. So we were very conscious of that strategy, and so we made it so that if you did try to use that strategy, you'd right, get end up right at the beginning again. See, I fell down a, <laughs> fell down a thing. There's Pekka. I think he just said, I need a coffee to get me through the night. <laughs> I know it's very late for Pekka, and we thank him for actually coming, because it's, uh, for him, he's his time zone is much, much like later than ours. Yeah. So it must be really late. Mm -hmm. So you see here, I made it to these things. Oh, it's back at the beginning. All right, so I want to show you guys just a, a little of what I mean by that from here you see over there that this is the classes of the Puzzle King, that that's the castle over there, and that's all you have to do. You just have to make it there. <laughs> and oh, that's it. It, it. it ended up working out much better than I thought, especially for a new newbie project. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition, we also placed a couple riddles that we... Um, that's right. Yeah, we we've taken the first them one from is right other at the beginning. That we that's why they were standing here, right? Yeah, they were standing right at the beginning. Riddle to help you on your way. Yeah, uh, I can't remember the riddle, and actually, I'm not it's looking. Young, at I am sweet. Aged, I make you merry. Old, I am prized more than ever. So that that is the first riddle in this area and we actually have other riddles to help you throughout this little labyrinth area uh, if you figure it out it kind of like uh, guides you if you find the object or the thing that it's mentioning it's sort of hello how are you like you know you're going in the right direction well so what what <laughs> else are people saying here uh, one copper for riddles <laughs> <laughs> and okay, not pink. Ten start. silvers yeah. for clues. <laughs> There's a tin vein down here. Uh, that's one thing that we noticed with the area that we chose. Lots yeah. of tin everywhere. Lots. What a pain that was building uh, uh, the mine area. Just tin vein after tin vein stopping us from moving forward. Uh, yeah. I lost everyone. No, one, no one's made it. I'm sure at some point somebody's going to make it to the entrance. Now, surprising, they don't know this, but... If they make it to the second area, we put a bell right at the end so that we'll know if they ring the bell that they've made it past the labyrinth. Mm -hmm. And they all ring the bell. It's great because it feels great to finally make it past this area and ring the bell. Uh, so what do we want to do next? I do want to get to a village update because we actually have some good progress. The problem is I am not close to... I want to get there before it gets dark. I'm not close yeah. to uh, Autumn Twilight, but I do have another character that's there. Yeah, so I think we're going to do a quick switch. And um, yeah, maybe I can talk a little bit about the village update as you're switching. Sure. Let me... I'm going to have to close this account, so it's going to go black for a little bit. So go ahead. Yeah. So over the last couple weeks, actually just even the last week, we've had a lot of people uh, join in on the mountain takedown party. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually been quite amazing. Uh, I guess yeah. it's, it's because people are looking and going, wow, it's like getting really close to the end. And, you know, after one night of having about nine people on the mountain, it just like accelerated the process. Uh, and yeah, no, it's like, it's getting there. It's like really close. It'll probably be, um, one more week or, or less even uh, if things keep up so yeah I'm uh, like you're gonna see it in a minute the other major thing um, that happened was it was actually a very interesting chance encounter mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to talk about it a little bit all but, right well uh, are you getting it is it logged on <sighs> yep can you see it very it was such a weird thing going on I mean since the beginning of the village Oh, so I, you guys I can't can see, see it. I can't see anything, but uh, I don't know. What are you looking at there? So we are looking at the port area uh, that we actually started the first level of the walls out in the port area. 
that's surrounding our little dock area that we're going to expand eventually and put houses and stuff around it. But we managed to get the Colossus that was over here moved over there. Now, the reason why that's so that's such a big achievement for us is because we didn't make that Colossus. We inherited this area with that Colossus built and Colossus, the, the Colossi can only be moved by the person that uh, finished the Colossus, the person that owns it. Like the moment we decided that this place is the village, we were debating this Colossus. Like, should we destroy should, it? Yeah, we... it would have been, it would have been, you know, kind of a shame to destroy an entire Colossus. Somebody's mm -hmm. put a lot of work into that, but you know, it couldn't stay where it was over here. Yeah, like we knew that, and we couldn't move it. So luckily, the owner. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, the story actually goes like this. <laughs> we contacted the owner, and at the same day that I contacted the owner, he puts up the character for sale. <laughs> now you guys can see that we are going to start a second one over here, and boats will be able to, you know, big boats will be able to come through this area. We also have, for small boats, entrance area over there, and an entrance area over there for small boats that also allow carts and horses to, to run across. All right, so. Just before you go on, uh, somebody made last. it to the bell. Somebody made it to the bell? Who was it? <laughs> it was Nightshade. Congratulations, Nightshade. Let's yeah. do a little. Golf clap. <laughs> and a drink. Here. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm not on to actually see that. Yeah, that was quick. Because last thing that we have to show you that we did was the mountain that you were talking about. So let's see. Let me slowly work my way up to the mountain as we go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was like amazingly lucky that the guy... Oh, did I even uh, finish that story? So no, the guy I was selling so. his character at the same yeah. time that I sent him a message saying, Hey, we... we you know, we'll, we could trade, you know, your services for coming out here to move the, push this Colossus, you know, to this new spot that we have. And then he sells his character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're like, oh. <laughs> At first he's like, sure, if I have time I can come out to do it. But then he sold his character pretty quickly. I guess there was a lot of interest. And <laughs> we're like, oh, maybe we're going to have to destroy it. This is going to... We still wanted to build two colossi in front of our place which means we'd have to build two instead of one mm -hmm. at some point and then uh, the new guy sends me a message the guy that bought the character and said hey I, I can come out and, and move it you know all I'm looking for is some like skiller you know tools mm -hmm. and I'm like sure that, that'd be perfect yep. so here is so he came out moved it and it's in a perfect spot now yeah perfect spot so look at this mountain. This entire side is down. This entire side. It's amazing. Look at that. And look over here. You're saying like just one more pass. Just you're doing one row at a time. Just yep, one bring row this at a down, time. this down. Just keep going. And this is the final pass. Yeah. The final time that you're going through it. And last I checked, it was like 17 more rows. And yep. then, then 17 you're done. rows. Each row is about. 8 to, well, between, actually, it's more like between 10 and 15. Yeah, so still a lot. Tiles, <laughs> like, and so, and each one has to go down about 30 to 30 to 40. Wow, it's getting dark already. So, yeah. All right, so let me I don't put know this if you back and come back that. to the labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah, but, that, yeah, that's still quite a lot. It's quite it? a lot, but uh, it's it's feeling like it's getting like to the end. Mm-hmm. You know, so like we, we passed the ninety-five percent mark, sort of thing. Yeah, it's moving forward. You know. Yeah, so we've really been, you know, doing that a lot, and I think over the next week, that's pretty much all we're really going to be doing. So yeah. next village update will just be we finished the mountain. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's yeah. what the update is going to be. Um, well, yeah, it could no, take us a couple we, more weeks. Sorry. Go ahead. As we get really close to the end, I'm noticing like people are spending a lot more time on it because it just it's just feeling like it's that much closer so All right, let yeah, me switch awesome. back over yep yeah and everything seems to be going as planned i think nightshade uh has arrived er, like 
quite a bit earlier than what we would have guessed. But I mean, I think that this is sort of... Um, well, Nightshade is not one of uh, the villagers that uh, that's right. is part of this whole game. That's right. we She's have, doing it for fun. Yeah, we have a bunch of people doing it for fun, and we have a bunch of people actually competing for, for prizes. prizes, which we can bring up later time. Now, I'm going to turn off yeah. the stream, because I, if you are thinking about coming here before we close this, we will... Uh, I don't want to ruin it for you, but just a spoiler alert at this point in time. If you continue watching, you will see what's beyond the labyrinth. For mm -hmm. all you people wanting to see what's beyond the labyrinth, I am going there. Oh, before I get there, I'm going to show you these funny signs that we made all throughout the... Uh, beware, beware. Why did we create those signs? Uh, yeah, those you, are, We basically have all the quotes that those uh what are they the, the rock guys yeah the rock guys <laughs> in, the, in the labyrinth movie if you've seen the labyrinth movie you know what we're talking yeah about. you know what we're talking about. take heed and go <laughs> no further that's right yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna make sure those that guys. no one's following me and i'm going and we've completely randomized them so it's like you're going the wrong way and People might think that that means that they're going. The I right actually way or followed a guy that like, uh, that <laughs> I followed a guy that basically read the sign and then turned back. <laughs> it's like going the wrong way. It was like, oh crap, I'm going oh, the wrong crap. way. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna come. I'm gonna bring back the, the stream here. This is what you will see when you exit. Oh yeah, a spoiler alert. I'm sorry, I was a little late yeah, for that. Yeah. Stop Hopefully, now. Like, but you haven't shown and them go how to no get further. Here, right? What? You haven't shown them how to get here. No, no. Okay, good. So anyway, Hello, so you? they get here. I, I kind of want to show you guys the signs just because uh, like I want to keep a record for myself, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we look at this as a nostalgic piece. Yeah. All the signs in red were like what the Puzzle King says. So it's like, my, you sure have been busy. You may as well give up now before it's too late. And then... We actually say, ring the bell, show him you will not give up, and then you will sit here and you can ring the bell. You can use the bell, and it will... Oh my god, it's animated. Oh, is it? I gotta see this. Oh, nice. I can't hear it, though, for some reason. Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, just so let's that. stop that and see... Oh, there you are. So where is yep, Knight? I'm right. She's she's so well this is into the it village. already. I've just sort of stayed here waiting. Puzzle for City. So here's Puzzle City. This sign says this way to the castle. There it is. So all you have to do is make your way to the castle. Mm-hmm. And the castle's right up there. Look, you go under the Colossus uh, the Colossus uh feet. Ah. And then you can't actually make it through. Yeah. There's a sign there saying, message everyone's. from the king, no visitors, be gone. So it's not as easy as it seems. Now starts the second area, which is the mm -hmm. city area. Well, what is the city area? It's broken up into a bunch of sec sections, and, you know, it's almost like an adventure game from here on out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, signs make a big deal. You have to sort of search for the signs and read them carefully. Now the next person to come through, I'll kind of follow them because it's really fun to see the other people really, uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, just figure it out in their head. You can almost tell what they're thinking. Yeah. It's really fun Yeah. as the creator <laughs> of it. I've actually never done this, but but Brian here has I've done this a numerous times. doing this uh, a few times with people. Just watching them go through it. Alright. Well, as we wait for somebody, I think we should go through some of the this rarity topic about the Hillside Horde Corp and what every uh, we wanna thank everyone for everyone for their responses on the topic. It is a hot debate. Um, since rarities have entered the game in the last under a year. I think it was last summer or something, I can't remember. So as blacksmiths get used to like turning people's items rare mm -hmm. you know what are like what are these uh stipulations and stuff in place what what kind of like we don't want to drive the blacksmiths away 
by yeah, saying it, no, it's my just, it's my rare. So let's you should probably refresh the issue here. The issue so is specifically when you take an order as a blacksmith or any kind of crafter to improve somebody else's tool. So mm -hmm. somebody else has come to you, they have a tool of their own, probably because it has high enchants on it, they want it to be improved. So you accept that as a job, and it's usually not for very much money because most of the time it comes at a specific level. Like, I have a 70 quality tool, and I want it to go up to 90. Well, you usually only pay for the difference between the cost of a 70 quality tool and a 90 quality tool. But what most people don't rem think about is that there is a chance that while you improve it, it will turn rare. Mm -hmm. And we ran into that issue. And what do you do? So uh, we got a lot of responses. Um, I don't know. Should we go through some of these responses? We should, as I'm pointing the rest of this video here. Uh, hey, well, I, uh, okay, so who's the, what's the first one here? First one. All right, it's a, here. It's kind of a strange one. It's by, um, I'll say this, uh, Emmanuel Quinones. I'm completely butchering that name. Can you say it better? <laughs> Emmanuel Quinones. Quinones. <laughs> I said um, it the same way you did it, so it right, must be that way. <laughs> so he says, honestly, you should either just give him the pickaxe exactly how he ordered it. I think he means you either give him a pickaxe that's the same order, so like make another one of the same, or give him the rare one. See, you know what? The reason why I chose to put this as the first He's kind of saying both. This is pretty much the debate. Like, this guy pretty much said... Said both debates. <laughs> yeah, either <laughs> give him the rare one or or make him another one. Okay, so yeah. these are so pretty much one? the op <laughs> options, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he said you made a contract with that person and you have to honor it. Yes, yeah. we made a okay. contract. So, so the debate is, should we, should as a blacksmith, create a new item with the same enchants... And the same level that he's asking for, or just give him the rare one and imp it to that level. Yeah, we we completely agree that if you've made an agreement with that person to improve them, then that that you have to honor agree that agreement somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is is that that agreement was not including the possibility for it to become a rare. All right, so let's let's look at uh, typical said on this subject. You can't charge them more for the rare unless you agree to it before doing it. You know? You have to give him the rare back. Because that's his item, you know? That's not your item. How can you give him another item? Mm hmm That's, I mean, I don't know. I, uh -huh. I somewhat agree with that. Somewhat. I mean, yeah. we haven't agreed, so... Um, Zephyrin says... Try and negotiate for a few silver coins because you rared it. I mean, that's a good idea. If you haven't agreed beforehand, I mean, it is worth something to that person. I don't know. Are you want me to take the next one? Yeah, take take the next one. Yeah. So, Andy Patriot Jackson says you would have to agree to the rare trade in, in rare trade increase ahead of time. Yes, rare insurance. Either charge more for the item when it appears, or they buy insurance and get the rare item. Or simply keep the rare for yourself and make a new agreed upon item for them. The rare was a result of your, the blacksmith skill and effort, and it is now your item. So he is on the side of that that rare is not the owner, is not the person that gave it to you now. Somebody else made it through. So keep oh. going on this topic as I follow yep. the next person. So keep going. Uh, Kuntar says, I think the right thing to do is give the rare item to the customer without extra charge. To me, turning a rare item doesn't belong to me while imping for a fee. It's just a perk of the trade. On the other hand, if the guy can afford it it's and is cute. willing to add an extra tip, it's very welcome. And it's a very nice thing coming from their side, but not an obligation. And while I completely agree that if you know that giving a tip is a nice thing to do for something like this I feel as a blacksmith pretty bad taking money from them if we haven't agreed upon it beforehand 
Mm -hmm. um, it makes it really difficult. I mean, I guess the whole bottom line is that when this event happens, it's it's sort of like an awkward situation. That person might offer to tip, and you might be like, Mwah. like you don't have to do that, and it's sort of like one of these things. Who made it through? It was Kiwi. Kiwi, nice. So he's looking. Good it's job. Like, oh, can't go through that. See, message for the king: no visitors. Be gone. He is looking towards this sign, which says Squire Boggle never made it to his post. Right, Hopefully he read that. Let's hope that he did read that. Now he's just stopping there thinking, looking around. Read what I said to him. Hopefully he saw that sign there. Squire Boggle never made it to his post. He's I'll just watching us. Be like, <laughs> over here, look over here. <laughs> I think he did. Okay, well... We'll assume that he did. All right, here's a bunch of other ones. Uh, where are you? Balter said they should have to pay. It is their choice, as they didn't ask for you to turn it rare, but you would have to discuss it with them. A rarity insurance would be a good idea, but people probably wouldn't take it. And He's the rarity going... insurance is, a, is the idea of working that into their price. I mean, like, if, if somebody came to you and wanted to get it in from 70 to 90, let's say... Charging them an extra uh, fee on top of that for the chance that it becomes rare. And right. if they do pay that fee and it becomes rare, they get it, the rare item for no extra charge. This says but Squire they, Boggle's Dwelling. Yeah, so if they Just don't so choose know. to take that fee, then it's gone. Um, now, I know people probably wouldn't like that option. In fact, I thought of a better option uh, after the episode was done. And I think it came from just everybody sending all of these, uh, you know, these comments, which were amazing. Um, it all, if, if you go through the, the common theme of all these comments, it's pretty much, unless you agree upon it beforehand, you know, then you're pretty much, like, screwed. Or in a really awkward situation, either you have to make them pay or negotiate money or ask for a tip or just wait for a tip or don't expect any money um, I, as, a, as a person in this game who you know I, I, it's mm -hmm. sort of like a business economy thing and I, like, I feel like there should be some sort of certainty um, I think that the best way to go about this is to make an agreement beforehand just agree that if it turns rare, here's the price of the item. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, I mean, he's gonna it... skip. He's gonna actually skip it. Um, oh, <laughs> I want to actually show. Uh, ever since they changed the size of these fountains, it just killed me. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, you're Did supposed to go in? into Squire Boggle's dwelling. Okay. So you're supposed to take this back alleyway mm -hmm. and make your way into his house where he says that the king hurdy no more me steal key and hide in special place under the boat drink first me go past the big house through ouchie hallway into secret spot me safe now so in fact it, all these other gates are locked you can't yeah get you can't else. get through so at first the first thing that people are supposed to think is oh there's a is under the boat. There's a boat. And so, by the way, we haven't really spoiled anything yet except for just showing you, but the spoiler just is about to happen. Yeah, so if there's you nothing are really here. if you are really wanting to try this and, and you didn't heed our with, other spoiler alert, yeah, heed this one. Now is the real time <laughs> to say cut out, come out, try it out, try to solve the puzzle. Um, yeah. Yeah. So just give you like two seconds to stop okay okay so <laughs> now if that wasn't enough of a hint like you know under the boat drink first uh, then we also have over here which a lot of people don't really go to I, I've seen probably about two people do I, like read every single thing and do yeah. it the exact same way that we wanted them to do it and it was awesome. I've seen somebody basically try to push their way through every nook and cranny and 
literally we've locked it all down so that the only place you can go is Squire Boggle's house or down that hallway. Yeah, so here Every they actually say uh, there's a discarded sign and don't get too close to the fountain while drinking. So there's two hints already about the fountain. So at this yeah. point I figured, you know, there's no other way that you could possibly go here. Yeah, it says me drink first and if they make it down this hallway then it tells them don't drink from the fountain. Yeah, because if like, they go this don't way... go that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here to go. All you see is this big house here. Yeah, everything's locked down. You, you can see some stuff, but you can't get anywhere. None of these and fences work, except just, the one to... For future knowledge, if you're stuck in some labyrinth where the Goblin King, or whatever it is, the Puzzle King, doesn't want you to go there, and there's hints that say... Don't go that way. Guess go way that way. Go. <laughs> so anyway, at this yeah. point, you should know, go to the fountain. Uh, I would assume you, that most so people So you're saying that go. Kiwi just went down the fountain? That's right. <laughs> Before, okay. the fountains were really big, so they actually covered this entire area. At this point, I needed to put these fine like rugs down. And it sort yeah. of worked sort of gives it away. Why do we have to do that? Because if you get too close, you see underneath that the cave door that we put goes away and releases a secret tunnel. Yeah. Where does we, this we've go? Actually, I, I remember seeing one guy, or you were telling me about one guy, and he was like standing in front yeah. of the fountain. He was <laughs> drinking from the fountain. He was doing everything <laughs> that he could think of with the fountain. And he couldn't figure out to go into the fountain. Couldn't figure it out, yeah. He did eventually, but it took him took him longer, and it was probably more sweet for him that he finally figured it out. Should we try to catch up to Kiwi here? I guess so. So this <laughs> this is our homage to that moment in Labyrinth. One door leads to the castle, the <laughs> other to certain death. Which one is it? And then you go through and it just says, just kidding. <laughs> and people are like, well, what would happen if you go through the other one? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Where is he? I see. I hear him opening and closing doors. So at this point, what you're supposed to do is like you're still guided. I want to go to the cast. I want to go to the the boat, right? I just need to get to the boat. Yeah. Hopefully, you had read that sign. Did he even read those signs? I no, he didn't because he didn't. He make didn't. It to the, so, so he, he doesn't has no know idea to where go he's going. Boat. He doesn't know. There's the boat. Right. To go to the room of forges in the ouchy hallway. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> you can't actually make it there through this boat. Oh, I'm, I I see Nightshade. She's still stuck in here. Really? Why yeah. do I not see anybody in here? I found Nightshade. I'm just going to go around. to the entrance. So where is she? Uh, Why have I not seen any of you guys? <laughs> against the side. Against the side of the... Side. You know, one thing I, I wish about this place was that we had a little bit more room to build in it because we found that this the houses were really constricted. Yeah, this was our first area. How have I still not found anybody? Yeah, the house is really constricted. Like, you have to have a space between all the houses, and it made the area very, very... Um, I'm guessing wall bashing is not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Kaneka has been cursing you this whole time. <laughs> I used to like Faye. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, so this is supposed to be like, I don't know, goblin-y town. All these little shacks. Mm -hmm. Moncton didn't know that we built this place. Really? Yeah. It was a long time ago. It was, it was a long, long time, time ago, I must say. Uh, I still haven't we, found anybody. Are they just uh, going I lost through? Shade. I ran out of stamina while I was climbing. Oh, there you are. Yeah, he found me. This is back to the beginning. I think Nightshade was on her way. I thought she was on her way out, no? She was going figured. around the outside like you should. Oh, I see. And then I ran I ran out of stamina and I had to fall. What does I... Griff mean by that? It means that the only yeah. way out of this area... Spoiler alert, again, yeah. you shouldn't be yeah. watching if you care at all. This is, is a actually... think outside the box puzzle. You're basically in an area with like a ton of one-by-one -one houses connected by little yeah. hallways. You're literally... 
have to go outside the box. <laughs> yeah, you literally have to go outside the box. Which is exactly what I just did here. And yeah. go all the way around the box. Yeah. And it's a climbing thing. You have to climb all the way around. If you fall or run into stamina like I did, you fall into mine doors that you can't get out of. Uh, that sort of thing. Um, you have to stop and regain your stamina. And it's, yeah, it's like a... It's just an extra little puzzle that you got to solve here. Especially with these really high grass area now. I know, the grass is making this really you hard. And you can kind of see that this was the area, this is how you enter into this little area. So we're going behind it. Yeah. I think Nightshade, see, I think Nightshade did find it because she's saying she's not cursing you anymore. <laughs> she's not cursing. <laughs> That's how you know somebody makes it to the next yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't the only one that made this slab. <laughs> Kineka is like, the clues are a bit weak. Don't go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Which we already talked about in this video. Yeah, so she might yeah. laugh when she hears that. It's uh, a clue. But yeah. It's not a clue, <laughs> really. Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, somebody else made it through. It's me, I think. Oh, no. somebody made it through to the thing. Can you unlock? <laughs> unlock? No, no, oh, no. Wait, they're wait. making it through. They're don't unlock it. Through, it. Who is it? It's Moncton. Okay. Yay, Moncton. <laughs> Is he going to try to come straight for us? Maybe we shouldn't be showing. We shouldn't be here. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking just that. Just the like, thing is I can't, I can't leave. So, Can't you go into that house? Oh, I would have to go all the way around. Which I can, or you can just let me out. I just don't want to unlock it because then it might... He's right the there. He's in. Anyway. All right, I'll go all the way around then. Don't so, you go... Oh, you want to go out... To meet him. So yeah. Saying. I see. Yeah, Mountain we should we has should stay quit. there. That's really the bottleneck for most. Because after this, it's it's more of a theme park. It is. Uh, there, yeah, uh, there's a little That's bit okay. of a puzzle, but not as much as this. This is like the last real bottleneck where you get real stuck for a while. Maybe you should just let me out now. You don't have to go all the way around, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I just, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll let you out. <laughs> He's not on. You got, you got a, ch a moment of opportunity to let me out now. Well, you got to let me get there again. Oh, he's back on. Too late. Back on. I just saw somebody go right across my screen. It oh, is there he is. Him. He's yeah, right he's next back. to you. He is back. Never mind. Yep. I will hide. <laughs> I will hide too. <laughs> All right. So Actually, I'll just come out. You can go out. You have the ability because we had to get Griff. Uh, you know, in the. Hello. We had how to are you? give him access to this town to spruce things up a bit. I'll give him a little wave. Hello. How are you? Anyway, um, he hasn't even made it to the castle yet. Anyway, so bottom line on the rare topic, what do you think? Bottom line on the rare topic, let's end I think that and story. This is what I'm going to be doing from now on is making that agreement beforehand. I think we, we mentioned the bottom line. Make the agreement <laughs> beforehand. Uh, you know, say, uh, and I'm I'm like thinking like you know like let's say they send me a file, and I know f rare files aren't really worth that much. Uh, you know, have a value I associate it with a rare file and just say if it becomes rare it's an an extra two silver or something like that oh I just saw Kiwi does that mean he just went and got he must have gone and uh, did the whole thing behind there now I need to follow somebody maybe I'll have to follow Moncton Moncton just made it to Squire Boggles oh, let well, me out let me out <laughs> let you out uh I know I should have just gone all the way around, but okay, go. He didn't let me. You out. gotta, you gotta move back in the in. Go, go, lock it. <laughs> lock it. Okay, everything's locked down in this room. So he actually did go to Squire Buckles. Did he yeah, actually yeah, see the sign? Right or no, Sorry? he didn't go up here. Did he? He hasn't gone up. No, uh, he so just went straight to. Eh, so he skips a step. That's fine. It's fine. Um, it's the, I mean, if you're pushing, like you just walk around well, and as, you push, the yeah. only place you can go is that. Looks like Kiwi's going to be the first to make it through. 
So let's look at the, uh, we did get a lot of questions over last week, and I don't want to ignore them, even though we're doing this, this cool event. Uh, so let's go through them, you know, a little bit quickly, so we can get back and follow Moncton. Oh, we don't uh, have to go quickly, we can stop <laughs> you now. never want to go quickly through these Q and A sessions. You love I don't the like sessions. Yeah, I love um, <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna just go through them in the list that Adam has made. The Q and A section is uh, if you want to leave us a comment or question. This is how people have done it. They just go to our YouTube channel. Uh, they go to our website. This is the best way that you can do it. Go to serversaredown.com. Leave us a comment, a question in our comment section. Oh, Kiwi's back. Oh, Kiwi's got it. He's going in. He's going. You could also like us on uh, Factional Fight. What's beyond those doors? Alright, I'm just going to go. <laughs> I don't know what's beyond those doors. Uh, Alright, yeah. Like us on Facebook at serversaredown.com and follow us on on Twitter at at Factional Fight, you can get all those links on our website at serversordown.com. So you might as well just go there. Uh, and it's where we post all of our videos as well as other good content videos and blogs and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Lots of good content on, on serversordown.com. You said, woohoo, Kiwi's running away with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> uh, anyway. And why? It's because. Uh, with the villagers, at least, the first person to make it through, we basically have a list of prizes. And the first mm -hmm. person to make it through gets to pick, gets first dibs on the list of prizes, gets to pick. You know, and the second person through gets whatever's remaining, and the third person through, and so forth. Uh, first question. You main. I don't think it's much of a question. Is that not so a question? Comment. Oh, he was talking about, from our last episode, he mm -hmm. was commenting on the blacksmithing episode where uh, he g gives a little tip saying that uh, another tip in the, on the stamina bar is to not let it fill up all the way before you start the action. Uh, you can begin a new action in the middle of your stamina bar going up, you know, filling it up and it, um, increases the timer and gives you more skill. Yeah, 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 I did this all the time and the best way to do it is if you uh, don't have a full water bar. If you don't drink for a little while and you like have half a uh, water bar then your stamina goes up slowly so you can sort of watch your stamina bar go up and start the action like right in the middle yeah I did that for a while oh there oh. goes Moncton Moncton figured it out <laughs> congratulations Moncton yeah all right so Good. thank you for that for that tip okay so I you can do the, next the second one, one here Oh, well, the second one is actually a, a comment as well, mm -hmm. uh, but we like this comment a lot. It says, hey guys, I'm currently on the indie server with my wife and my daughter. We love your show and watch it together. We would love to know the exact place of your factional fight village so we can come visit you guys and perhaps lend a hand for a few hours. We're still quite new to Worm, but, your videos are but from your videos we're learning a lot. If you're on indie, it might take you a while to get to where we are. We're not <laughs> close, unfortunately. We've had this question a lot, like, where are you guys located? Um, how do we get to you? Well, we... Uh, if, if this... I'm, I'm going to just comment on this sp person okay, specifically. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Go for if, that. Okay. If you really want to know where we are, just send us a PM on the forums, because you can't contact us in the game, unfortunately, because you're on another continent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is also Mountain just... Mountain took a wrong turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we always like getting these little comments that, they, that I mean, they're, they're what motivate us to keep recording these. Yeah, so, so send us a message. We, we The reason why we don't give out our exact location to everyone is just because our place is really, like, there's not a lot of space in our area. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's really full. There's definitely no space near the coast left. No, say uh, this, I'll tell you this. Since we settled here, there've been quite a few well, people who've come. It's since we're in one it, it's even gotten more crowded since yeah. then. 
And there have I been mean, other people that have come looking for us and been successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but if you're traveling means, from Indy, well, you're gonna need a boat, and you're gonna have to travel south. That's, that's the right. first step to get to Deliverance. Yeah. By all means, come visit us. We like visitors. Help out if you want. Of course, we love that too. But uh, yeah, send us a PM. Yeah. Okay. Next question. I have twenty-two comma seven four three mining, so I don't understand why my rock shards quality cap is at forty comma thirty-one. Do you know? Do you know why is he getting higher shards than his skill level? I love these commas. This is not to be a European thing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, here we, we use decimal places. But in any case, um, yeah, we do know. You are on Epic. Ah, so what what does being on Epic have to do with anything? Epic has a completely different skill level increase thingy. Uh, not only do skills increase at, I think it's like three times the rate, or it's double the rate at least. It's faster anyway. All right, slowly, um, slowly. Moncton has the ability to turn the correct way. He is doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just look at him as he goes up and realizes eh, something's up. <laughs> He's going the wrong way currently. He'll hit yep. a wall eventually. Yeah, yeah. It takes There's a little a bit of while, a bit of time to think outside the box on that one. Yeah, but I think, I don't think anyone's been stuck. Eventually, you will f figure it out. Yeah, eventually. Which is, which is great. I'm going to go... Oh, Nightshade got the key. I'm going to go see how Kiwi's doing, because he's going to be coming out first, right? If mm -hmm. he does make it. He's um, probably already made it. I'm just trying to see if he's in the gate maze still. I hope so, yeah, works. back to the topic of Epic. Um, mm -hmm. If you are on Epic, then you are going to be following what they call the skill curve, mm -hmm. which pretty much means that... Um, you will have what they call an effective skill. So there's your skill level, which in this case is 22.743, and then you have your uh, effective skill, which well, is going to be quite a bit higher. It depends uh, on where you are in your skills, but the lower skill you are, the bigger the jump you're going to see, and as you mm -hmm. get higher and higher, the less increase you're going to see. So you actually, and you gain experience faster. I don't know if you said that. You probably did. Epic is good because you actually gain experience faster. You must use a mallet on the congratulations. Yeah, Kiwi made it. Completing Puzzle Labyrinth. Yeah, oh, I gotta kill this hellhound for Congrats, everybody. That's Kiwi. I think. A hellhound? Where? It's right at the exit. Ah. So they're gonna come out and get killed. Alright, so let me write it down <laughs> before I forget that Kiwi made it out first. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry, we're, we're getting completely distracted by what's going on here, but the idea is that your effective skill is going to be quite a bit higher, and everything's going to act like, like your mining right now is going to act like you have a 40 mining, basically. Even though Everything you have is lower. Even though you have lower. And it's going to be like that all the way up. And essentially, when you get to about 70, your effective skill is like 90. Okay, so mm. that's a good thing. And then uh, oh, no. all the all the way up between 70 and 90 it just gets a little bit higher like I mean your effective skill will go from 90 to 100 why oh, did Moncton get spider. confused here because this is our little Easter egg that we haven't uh, Fenmont mm -hmm. steel bed Fenmont sleep well tonight uh, basically it, in our in our village area at the beginning if you go to the inn there's a sign saying that somebody stole a bed again mm. this is where the guy stole it he put it in this little house it's a little easter egg so anyway Moncton came out here went to that house got confused and then went back he didn't continue around mm -hmm. uh, that sort of sucks anyway let me quickly go over here and show you guys what is on the other side of this area You can go to the next question as I go through. Yeah, I'm just uh, bandaging up. Uh, oh no, he has only light wounds. Okay, so let's take take a look at the next. On oh, the video the named everything you need to know about containers, Kitsune 
Nah. Sort of sucks that one, two, one. I, is this Kitsunabe? Could it be? Anyway, his That's name is Kitsune One Two One X. Can you name containers? Yes, you can name containers. You just right-click them and hit rename, and you can name them. He also asks on the uh, Dieter Lose It episode. So can s I love the grammar here? So can sell to traders for cash in game? Yes or no? Question mark. Um. The short answer is yes. The long answer is not always, because um, traders get money every so often from the king, mm -hmm. uh, which essentially means like the, the king is getting money from the upkeep that people uh, have to pay for their deeds. So, uh, you know, you own a deed, you pay upkeep every month. That money, a certain percentage of it, gets distributed amongst all the traders mm -hmm. uh, every few days, and then. Um, if you're lucky enough to catch a trader during that time, you can sell it stuff. It will give you money. But it, there's usually people who have these things on timers, and they pretty much go and drain those traders on, you know, when they get them. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of confusing. It's uh, it's not straightforward. It's not straightforward. Um, yeah, traders can take give you money if they have the money. That's just how it works. There goes Nightshade. I'm locked in here, but can sort of see her. Oh, uh, you can sort of see her go up. Congratulations, Nightshade, for entering the castle. Uh, I mm, nice. just got stuck in one the of the wall. walls. Ah, oh, this is the wall bug that's happening. Yeah, recently. I think that I don't. Oops. I think that I can't get out of it when I'm stuck like that. <coughs> oops. Is it just stuck? Anyway, the best Ooh. way I found is just to relog. Yes. So I'll go on to the yes, next question is. while you do that. I will relog and you can. By Krunos. Hey, I saw an avatar of Magronon. However, it's spelt. You can. Can you explain what it is exactly? Couldn't find anything about it. Um, mm, I can try. <laughs> it's <a> hard. Uh, <laughs> because it doesn't have as much to do with the freedom servers, even though they are on the freedom servers. Yeah. I've seen a couple of them. High low. You can actually get a raid together and kill them. I don't know what the benefit is. The basic sure. idea is that Magronon is a god, one of the deities, mm -hmm. and uh, their avatars are their living incarnation of them. And uh, recently they got a really nice uh, graphical update because before they just used to be like people. That they might really still be they, people. I, don't, I haven't seen one since no, then. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure they've updated them to look like massive, huge... I think Magronon is a big minotaur. Oh, nice. That's like a huge giant. And uh, yeah, no, you need um, quite a few people to get together to beat them. I don't really think that there's much of a benefit, at least mm -hmm. on freedom, except for to just have bragging rights that you did kill it. And um, reminds me a couple to go of EverQuest something. mobs. All right. Before you go to the next question, literally, once you make it to this point, you go under the boat, which is basically what uh, Boggle says to go under the boat. And I am going to go what happens at the other end. Wow, you're on the other side of this fence that you, that you see when you first enter the city. And now you have access to this house. I am hoping Moncton gets his butt over here, though, <laughs> so so we can kind of see his journey through. But as we wait for Moncton or whoever comes out next, let's do the next question. We have oh, a question <laughs> from Sorcerer. I'm just uh, caught up in some a little bit of chat here. Oh, that's okay. I have a question on Sorcerer. My favorite part of the series is watching your town grow, but this time it was too dark. Yes, it was too dark last episode. Hopefully this episode we caught it in the daytime for you that you can see uh, the updates that we did. Uh, yeah. Are you going to do an episode on monster taming? 
And then he asks, is it possible to breed a bunch of tough spiders and release them near those guys who stole their produce and have them attack the thieves? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would take weeks or months <laughs> to breed. I think there's like, yes, yes, um, yes, yes, and then no. You can't really force them to attack. Like, yeah, like you, you can try to untame them. Yeah. Dominate them. You, or you can just like is. leave them around there, but most people can kill spiders. I don't think you can tame spiders. I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, anyway, things. We'll talk about taming. Yeah, we but I nice. wanted to bring up this question specifically because we've had a lot of questions that have been talking about, you know, you guys should do this, and we like your suggestions. You know, you should do taming. You should do, you know, breeding. You guys should do a priesthood ep episode or episode about priests and episode about meditation and like all this stuff and yes the, if, you, if you want to s kind of get a clue of the episodes we still need to make and this game is huge there's, there's so much more that we haven't talked about yet mm -hmm. we've kind of almost just done the basics so far so if you want to get to that uh, if you want to get a kind of a, a hint of what we still need to do watch our introduction episode mm -hmm. it's like the first it's not episode one a lot of people think it's episode one because they just go to episode one in the Funny list story about that. Episode one, we actually recorded that first, called it episode one, and then we realized that we are missing a few things out of that that we needed to say. So we recorded what we called at the time episode zero. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> problem in it. I didn't want to put an episode to it. I just wanted to call it an introduction yeah, episode, but... It, it, I don't know. I lost that argument. In hindsight, it was a bad bad idea and it, because it <laughs> seems like everybody looks at episode one as our episode one and never goes back to see that episode oh, zero. Gosh. Episode zero was really our episode one. Um, and yeah, as Brian says, go there and you can see pretty much we, our plans are laid out. We talk about the game and we lay out kind of a basic broad analysis of the different features that you can expect in a game like this. And then we kind of mentioned that that's kind of what we're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. Pekka, yes, I've been out ten times already. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> eleven. Oh. <laughs> and he's talking about the entrance. As we mentioned at the beginning, it's easy to find the entrance. It's very hard to find the exit. <laughs> yes, All right. it is designed that way. So anyway, we, we do love your suggestions and stuff and we do keep them in mind of what we want to do kind of next uh, yeah. but yeah we've got lots to go through like fighting and uh, like we said priests and meditation and yeah just recently uh, we sat down together just to make a list and we're like wow this list is like endless <laughs> it's a lot like, longer than we initially thought yeah yeah so we got we got a, we got a ways to go for sure yes so next question yeah, you want me to go for it? Yes, go for it. This no, is from a person for who somebody to come made this a tunnel. Yeah, he made a question on the last one, uh, and we we answered it. It was the farming inside the caves. He says, "Hey, yeah, my question was a bit messy. What I was going for, sorry, what I was going at was if I'd be able to farm in caves. Yeah, I think we, I think we figured that part out. Uh, and then in brackets, I'm pretty it says, sure we said hide we from player killers and griefers on a PvP server if I decide to plan one." And then use the things I grow for alchemy. I think that that's uh, pretty much the same question. So th there's there's a bunch. Yeah, I think we answered this. No, I'm, um, I there mean are the only things thing different Go here ahead. is that he's talking about PvP servers. I understand why you're in a cave. Being in a cave on a PvP server is like very beneficial. Agreed. The answer still is the same. It's no, you cannot farm inside the cave. Oh, and I wanted to bring... I don't know if I brought this up in the last episode, but... Or whenever he said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last episode. You, uh, Some of the other things that you can't farm in. You can't farm in a house, yet you mm. can plant your seeds in a house. <laughs> and then they just rot away. So you will waste yeah. your seeds or your vegetables if you plant them in a house. Yeah, I also think that if you plant, if you that the put a house over top of crops, that it will kill the crops. Yeah. It won't kill grass, though. Grass will stay, but you can't plant new grass. So There's monks. Wow, this part is... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> yep. He is still... 
still kind of going through the little the little residential area. I think this is the experience that most people get from this thing. It's either they cannot stand it because they can't get out of the first part, or they get out of the first part and they like love it. So I I don't know. Like there's part of me feeling like we should just, like escort all the people into the second part <laughs> <laughs> that can't make it because really the second part maybe is like after that. another hour or something uh, <laughs> we might do that yeah of course after we finish this episode <laughs> yeah. i do want to show the actual whole labyrinth eventually because i do want this record uh because eventually i'm going to want to watch this yeah okay Who's another like, person yeah, Lori holden part, says no. interesting we've always pronounced S-O-W, Spirit of the Wolf, like so, like sowing fields. Not really sure how you guys ended up with sow or whatever, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure nobody I've talked to in voice on EQ1 or EQ2 ever used it like that. Now, when I read this, uh, particularly like back in the day when we were in EverQuest, the reason why that I wanted kind of this, I told you like add this to the list, is because back in the day when we were like in guilds, and uh, when we were in, you know, all sorts of guilds and we were talking to them and like I actually went for a guild meet and greet once and I realized that everyone pronounced everyone's name differently than <laughs> what they were supposed to. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know how we started pronouncing it. It's Sal. exactly the reason why when Just... we pronounce people's names, we always get like their names wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like I, at the time I had... I had a character that was this tiny halfling, and we called him Paul Bunyan because we thought it was funny. <laughs> like this tiny little guy was named Paul Bunyan. But then I realized everyone, well, we couldn't Everyone actually get that. the name Paul. Oh, somebody made it through. It was Pekka. Now he's happy. Nice. <laughs> See, this is where all that perseverance and hard work, and you make it through and you get this great feeling. That's what I love. We also have to keep in mind for Pekka, it's like four in the morning. That's right. <laughs> it's really early. Uh, so where was my story? So we we couldn't get the name Paul, so we had to add an E at the end. Paul with an E at the end. So, so we, when I met all these people, realized that everyone actually called me Polly. Now Adam's talking to. Oh wait, it's not Pekka. It's Moncton. That was Moncton again? He's out? I don't know. Let's let's go back to the story. So okay, we so to name a Paul. we had to add an E on the Yeah, we had to Paul add the E, like so it. when I met all these people Oh, somebody's actually coming down here. It's Moncton. Yeah. Yeah. No, who's the guy that rang the bell? Somebody rang a bell. Uh we'll figure it out in a second. They'll, they'll Yay, Moncton they'll made it through, I can't believe it. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, they all called me they all called the character Polly. So they yeah. all called me Polly instead of Paul, <laughs> even though it's clearly Paul Bunyan. But I guess it's cuter to say Polly Bunyan. I think the Bunyan. point is is that everybody pronounces things differently. So and Sow are both correct pronunciations <laughs> of the word S O W. So it's anyway, like this gets tomato. really confusing. This next area. So <laughs> this is like, everyone's gonna see this with me. You get into this house and there's just forges everywhere and houses everywhere. He's going through here. And he made it through this little now what he doesn't realize oh this is gonna hurt <laughs> is he gonna go through he's gonna go through no all right i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna go through with him you know in the Take design it. of this thing we oh, I, I, oh. I i was fighting for a way to send you back to the beginning at this point, did I bring cotton? We we ended up not decide like deciding. Yeah, to, but you wanted to get <laughs> give away for people to make it right back to the beginning or out of the labyrinth or something. Like where is Moncton right now? Where is he? He made he went through uh, one of the pathways with the with the thorns. And the if you actually watch our video, and I didn't mention this, we're going to include. I made a trailer of this place back like a year ago when we finished the the labyrinth. I'm going to include this at serversardown.com. So if you're not watching this on servicerdown.com, go to servicerdown.com so you can see uh, uh, the trailer as well. It's going to be on the same post. We've also released video. it on YouTube as well. Yeah, you can see it on YouTube as well. So well, what was I getting at? at? Like in the video, you see a spot where I'm going through and there's just thorn bush after thorn bush after thorn bush. Like just really quick shot. 
Yeah. If this is the area, and you notice that there isn't thorn bush after thorn bush after <laughs> thorn bush, because <laughs> at the time we were very new players, and we didn't realize that even for higher level players, they can't get through all those thorn bushes. There's just no way to get through. Yeah, thorn bushes are hard. Um, yeah, one, going through one will take half your health. Going through two will pretty much kill you. Yeah. So Moncton <laughs> is doing it smartly. He's going through it. Oh, I'm going to go through it with him. One, two, three the edge. pierces. Yeah. Luckily, I am wearing armor, but he's not even wearing any armor. Yeah. Yeah, there was so a what guy I, that... What I did is I came through here and... Uh, I just chopped down like most of them. I left one, three. The main reason why we did that is because we had one person go through there. He was a pretty new player, and he he got stuck. Dying. He was going down the wrong path, and he basically got to the end and turned around and started coming back. And he pretty much oh, I used all my cotton. He he got himself a severe wound, and he didn't bring himself any cotton. And then the severe wound literally just bled out, and he died. Yeah, he spawned back all the way at his deed, and he had to run all his way We've back learned here. We better did. by then, by now. Yeah, I think we ended up that. getting a, bringing a cart to go grab him, but yeah, no, we have had a death in the last. I've seen another the death in here too, because uh, we do leave this. We have left this open. Is Puzzle City the end or not? He didn't read the signs. Becca, you didn't read the sign. Tell him. Tell him what the goal is. The goal is to save the baby who's in the castle. <laughs> it is the <laughs> end of the beginning. Ooh. What um, was the movie that started that way? Uh, it's, it was an way? 80s movie. And what the yeah, 80s movie is sci-fi. Where the, this the is not the end. This is not is the beginning the of, of the, the end. Beginning. It's the end of the beginning. <laughs> uh, I Great. can't remember the name of it. I just can't remember the name. It's like eluding me right now. So here's here's what... This is why M Moncton just went around in a circle. And the reason why is because this house actually leads to three different... <laughs> it's basically a choice once you realize that there's, that there's doors everywhere. The choice is that there's three doors that you can't see behind these forges. Which one is the way? Now, of course, he doesn't know that, <laughs> so he's slowly learning that. Uh, he basically went through the wrong way went around in a circle and got himself back into this house. When you go the right way, that doesn't happen. So we're going to see how long it takes him to figure out <laughs> which door is the right way. And that's why there's these forges, because they're hiding the door, to all the three doors. In fact, you can kind of get disoriented. You don't even know how many doors. And I was very excited about this particular puzzle, because when we started this house and we were building it, there was no inner walls in, like in, in the game yet they didn't create inner walls and we're like how are we going to do this without inner walls how are we going to make three different sections of a house and then they you know luckily introduced inner walls and we were able to cut the houses in kind of three this house into three and and make those three identical rooms almost felt like it was very alice in wonderlandy here you can see that I... I don't know why there's pack dirt here. There was a while, and one of the reasons going back to the fact that we had a lot of maintenance in this place, there was there was a time... Oh, before I get there. There was a time where a troll came here and bashed down a ton of our walls. Mm, yeah. And like, all these animals started coming in here and packing this dirt. Recently, recently uh, too. Yeah, so here's... I don't know what I call this anymore. It's like the forge, the land of forges. And you can kind of get lost in here, but I'm sure he's going to make it into the mausoleum. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this place. And <laughs> we put coffins and initially what we did was we, we actually have a character named Puzzleton <laughs> and we named all the coffins, Puzzleton 1, Puzzleton 2, Puzzleton of the 3rd, yeah. Puzzleton of the 4th, and we killed Puzzleton like seven <laughs> times and we took his corpses <laughs> and we put them in each coffin. Um, but on I only know of one person that actually went through it before the coffins rotted. They were yeah. so fast. The, the, the I thought that would have been rotted. funny. Yeah, the corpses rotted. So anyway, this place is our last mine area, and at this point, your clue is supposed to be, you know, that Boggle came here and he hid the keys. Find the keys. So 
So he's exploring, he's seeing that this place, each one is like puzzle in the third, and a bench. And we had our low quality dies with our like no skill at the time. Yeah, yeah. Blue. I still have no skill. If I turned off, if you turn off the, your lantern, you actually will see the dies a lot better. Although he has yeah. his lantern on. But you can see it's much more blue with my lantern off. Where is he these going? guys need help. I'm going to go back to see if I can help these guys. Yes, to see if they have solved the riddles and that sort of thing. I did already. Yeah, we'll see what we say. At most, he could. They, you could just help them with the riddles. Maybe it'll help. Have they seen a lot of the riddles? This hood keeps falling off. See which riddles they they kind of know. And we kind of glossed over it even in this video. There was two other riddles at the beginning there. The first one was of course that wine uh, one. I just gave away the answer. And the second one. <laughs> was uh, one about we're pretty much giving away everything about this you know, game round was... something something to do with round do you remember round and round something I go straight ahead something rather <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> I can go find it <laughs> and the third one is um, has to do with the with the statues that are there the boy oh, and the girl yeah, statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't give that one. Nobody away. ever gets that riddle. No one ever gets that riddle because it's so deep in the in the, the labyrinth, and it's very. But even obscure. if you see it, oh, and then I added a third, a fourth riddle, uh, that talks about uh, the mine. There's Moncton. He's running this way. Down here. Uh, did we have any other questions? Um, yeah, we had a couple odd ones. Like, here's one. What server are you guys at? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. Uh, <laughs> no, yes, you should. Anyway, at the very end of this video, <laughs> at the very end of every one of our videos, as well as in uh, certain videos that we do the Q&A, we have had this question a lot. And I know no one's going to watch every one of our videos and watch every one of our Q&As. Or watch them all to the end where it says, See you guys on the Deliverance server. Or when we actually say that, uh, we're on the Deliverance server. Yep. There you go. We're not going to stop making fun of people who keep asking that question. <laughs> That's okay. But and yeah, another one you, by also Kitsune121X. Kitsune121X. And, I, and again, I'm, I'm only trying before to interpret you, before what he's you trying get to say to here. That, before you say that, okay, sorry. He finally made it to the room. This, this is a bunch of junk here, and my nice. inspiration for this room is that Boggle probably stole all this junk, like incomplete signs. Like it like, says Puzz High. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. Puzzle City. Uh, all these unfinished areas, and I think some of the stuff that I made here is rot, rot. And even an Epic Portal is like, do not use the Epic Portal. The reason why the Epic Portal is there is because it's part of the storyline. Uh, he hasn't actually turned around to see the chest there yet. <laughs> As you guys can see, it says, it says, Me make lots of copies. Please take one. Don't need. I go to better place. Bye-bye. So the whole storyline <laughs> is that Boggle left the keys and wanted to escape the punishment of the Puzzle King and went to Epic, basically. <laughs> yeah. Now you can see that the, the chests do open now, right? No, not in a mine, apparently. Uh, or when somebody else does it. But we left a bunch of keys. They do decay. And they're, it's another one of those maintenance things we have to keep putting new keys in. Um, so we put ten more today. And I guess he's the third one. And there's seven left. We can yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of... Uh, so he's probably really excited that he just got a key. And now he has to find his way out. Which is actually the only way out is to just backtrack everything that you just did. Which could mm -hmm. get confusing, like he's currently going the wrong way. I always get lost in the mausoleum. I know you're like always like, how can you get lost? There's not that <laughs> many ways to go. But when you're in there, man, it's like, you get turned around so easily. It's true. Here, he found it. Okay, so here's the last comment or question. Alright, go ahead. I love skill tab layout. Help me. <laughs> like, I love I'm pretty sure he means I love the skill tab 
layout. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Tell I just saw I'm Pekka. setting it up so I can see the points go in to skill point. Uh, so I can see the points. Not sure. I'm pretty sure what he's hinting at is uh, when we set up, when we look, when we scroll over to our skills tab and we can actually see every single skill up and how much it is and then we can see our sk current skill to like seven decimal points mm -hmm. um, it's an option in the in the settings uh, let me just check where it is exactly it's it like is on your settings, settings. Hello. sorry oh well, that's you Text. up there <laughs> you're helping it's them under, nope okay it's under settings in text yeah, text. It's under text. Skill game wish I had tab it, uh, updates. Wish I could show you guys actually. Turn Maybe that to always. Skill game tab updates. It's under text. There we That's go. Settings. Show you guys. <laughs> Make it a little bigger. That's kind of strange. Yeah. Uh, in text. I always have it set to always. Skill tab update. Skill game tab updates. We set it to always just that's the best way if you're really interested to see how much experience you're gaining per action you know as your stamina bar goes down you can see that increase in skill gain that you get per action uh, it will show you a lot of, of skill gains like all your body stats pretty much go up like all mine and you'll get like four body stats plus this mining action plus like it's like it's hard to read at first but if you get used to it um, and you're really interested in, in sort of seeing exactly how much skill you're getting per action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way to go. So I'm going to meet these guys, hopefully, at the entrance to the castle, and then we're going to finally, finally make our way to the castle and see what we did in there. I saw Kaneka. She was still running around the gardens. Oh, I hope she does make it through. I oh, hope everyone oh, makes oh. it through. Is that Chunk? But yeah, for, for my future self watching this video. <laughs> Hi, future self. Hi, future self. <laughs> just first, to say that. Uh, yeah, I just... Just the enjoyment we had making this, if you can't even remember that. Yeah. I know it's been even a year now, and you kind of, like, forget how... Uh, just because we were a new player, and we built all of this, we built a Colossus as a new player within three months of our game time. And release this entire labyrinth. Chunk, you know? you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Wherever you are, that's not yeah. the way. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so I will wait for the next person to pop up. Oh, you know what I didn't do? What's that? I didn't take a key. Ah. I, you, you know why? Because oh, oh, I have a key. Do you have a key? You want to come? Come give uh, me the key. Okay, you do have uh, a key. I remember. No, Kiwi gave it to me, actually. You also have the original key. Okay, I have the original one. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, second. I don't want to go through that. I'm going to miss them if that happens. I won't uh, look. I have to solve the gardens part again. <laughs> Do you not remember? No, no, no. I know how to get there. Oh, okay. We, we made it very hard to find. It's actually a kind of a clever... Again, I, That's I the one thing that we didn't answer. talk about. Like we didn't kind of show it. It's a clever it. little exit. <sighs> You'll, you find it or you don't. And most people don't. Yeah. That's why it <laughs> seems like it's so easy. Just make it to that castle. It's right there. You can see it from the labyrinth. You know, from the labyrinth gardens, the puzzle gardens. And you just can't make it there. It's just Now, we made it so that if you, you find... There's only one way into the mine that will get you to the exit... And then there's like seven ways out of it. <laughs> so like you can get there and then you pretty much have to be lucky. Yeah. Actually, you don't have to be lucky. You have to pay attention because if you are in that mine and you see the clue that the riddle was hinting at. If you solved the clue, made it to that the, area, saw the clue, then you can't miss it. You can't miss it. Actually, Chonk Lord says that he did all that stuff. There you are. He there you are. He solved the riddle. He Come saw the item. And then he missed it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I told him. I told him, like, you saw it, then you're really close. And he's like, oh, now I'm never, never going to find it again. 
that's the thing about the labyrinth, you know? You can make it through and still fail. Yeah. Alright. I don't know how to help them. Should I should I just say this way, guys? How many how many left are, are there? Or how many people are left in that uh, gardens Two. area? Two. I wanna bring I wanna bring them. Even if you bring them, they won't remember how to get there. But yeah, yeah. if it's just Chunk Lord, yes, do it. It's it's Chunk Lord and Kaneka. Yeah, if it's just Chunk Lord and Kaneka, just do it. Although, unless they feel bad about needing your help. I don't know. I still have to wait for somebody to come back. Anyway, that was all the questions that we had all week. So if you guys have any more questions... Uh, questions about the Puzzle Labyrinth. I don't know if we've sufficiently said why we're thinking about closing this down. Uh, mm -hmm. Another reason would be we already have, since we built this place, this is our first place, we really don't want to close it down. We might even keep the deed, but just the amount of time it takes to keep this place up, to, to repair all every single statue, uh, to repair any problems that trolls or whatever you know come across all everything in here is mine rotting. collapses the doors, mine collapses the... all the time even with reinforced walls yeah uh, the mine doors always the mine doors there are there are a significant amount of mine doors in this place and deeds don't stop decay at all so uh, they rot all the time and it basically ruins our puzzle so if you guys, some, some people might have gone through the labyrinth where all these mine doors were gone. We didn't get around to fixing them. And it just kind of ruined, just kind of ruined the area for them because you could get to the end really quickly now. <laughs> it's probably still confusing for them, but it just kind of, it's not the labyrinth that we wanted to make with those mine doors gone. Um, since here, we actually created another labyrinth. Mm -hmm. that we have the exact same problems. Now we have to take care of two different labyrinths that have almost the same problem. But you know, since then they created multi-story housing. How great would multi-story housing be? I know. Building a labyrinth. I, I wish yeah. that they had it. Uh, so, so huh? round three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not know. until they make bridges. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we, if we can do it. We can build another one. Oh, yeah, I hope that they can make bridges. I think that would probably maybe make me want to make another uh, labyrinth. Who knows? I don't know. But I don't think we're going to be able to keep this one around. <laughs> You're trying to get them over? What yeah. happened to the two of them that we're trying to... <laughs> Is Moncton still trying to get through there? Oh, I'm falling. Yep. I should use so where are you in the mine? We are out. Moncton has the, the key, oh, and yeah, okay. he's still making his way out. <laughs> it must be real. It must be really confusing. It yeah. It's hard for me to tell. Maybe I should have stuck with him. I thought he was just gonna come out. We've exhausted. Let's see. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the different topics that we did come up with. I do. I do want to say that, and this might be a good good idea. Actually, we can bring up what we want to talk, what we are thinking. That these are the topics that we sort of have come up with, but. I'm sure there's a lot of things that we don't haven't thought of. This is why I love you guys' suggestions, because there's a lot of things that we might not even think of. Uh, I remember somebody before we did the farming episode, and the guy's like, "I have no idea how to farm. I don't know. I keep farming the crops like too early. I don't understand why." And I wasn't even thinking about that before the farming episode, because of course I haven't farmed in like a year, but. I was thinking, you know, you could just know how to farm. Uh, <laughs> how, like, you could see, you could visibly see, this is when to farm. Uh, I I forgot that, that at a certain level, that's when you find out 
when something becomes ripe. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't actually see it. But I figured, you know, the visible explanation uh, would be good enough. Now, look who it is. It's Chonk Lord. Let's give him a hello. Hello, how are you? I got them to the wheel, and then they started walking away, and I'm like, <laughs> No, come back. <laughs> the wheel's the clue. Don't go. <laughs> it's like, uh... It's, it's like how he says, like, he left the wheel and then he could never find it again. It's like, that's the way it's designed. So once you find the wheel, don't, don't. And you leave. Leave it. <laughs> that's the answer. It's right there. There's Kaneka coming to the castle doors. Yep, they're coming to the castle doors. I'm going to walk over here and wave to Kaneka. Hello, how are you? Th that was fun, she's saying, and I'm going to say this is where the fun begins. Over here. No one's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to the ending with the uh, the labyrinth? No, no. I'm oh, still okay. waiting for someone to come. I want, where's, I want... Mon where's Monkton? Oh, is he going to look at me? Nope, he's not looking at me still. Who? Chunk Lord. Oh, yeah, I can look well. at the sign. Hello, how are you? Part of me feels like us being here is a little bit of a distraction from stuff that's happening. We have hidden a lot of oh, things. You have to be very geez. observant. Yeah. I'm still waiting for a Moncton or Pekka or someone. <laughs> is that is that Moncton still high? Yeah, he finally made it out of the, the big house. Oh, Moncton finally. Okay, so you were trying to wait for somebody to come. I see. Correct. I think Moncton's going to have to be the one. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this would come. Where now? Oh. Where now? You can tell him. Read the signs. Read everything. It's more of an adventure from here on out. I'm going to need another beer. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a Erdinger. Oh, such a good beer. <laughs> you like that beer? I brought my uh, beer that you gave me. Anyway, still haven't finished uh, it or drank it. I'm mm. almost done. <laughs> Although it's really hot, it's really warm now. Uh, use the clues. Don't want to spoil this part. This is more of a story and adventure from here on out. That's how you would say it to them if you were like in front of them, right? Uh, anyway, so you know some of the topics that we want to uh, go into would be uh, the ones that were suggested, like animal taming, animal breeding, fighting, uh, priests meditation uh, we also want to go into things like shipbuilding and metallurgy metallurgy and rope making and natural armor substances. and shield making natural substances you know even get into basic things like carpentry fine carpentry or, or detailed things like compass making we have an advanced uh, advanced terraforming yeah, like a like a flat yeah. raising episode, or uh, and this, this really exciting thing. Oh, this is kind of like two belts that I just learned on the forums, and I mm. tried to, and I, I I didn't do exactly what the guy was saying on the forums. I'm more is Chunk trying to leave this area? He's trying to go back. Oh no, I think he's just he's just sort of oh reading the signs. Hopefully, testing the <laughs> limits. He's probably trying I to see. look at everything. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, the, the multi-story housing we haven't really gone into since they implemented it. Like when we did our Let's Build a House episode, it wasn't even in the game yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, the one thing that I always thought, I and I know other people never thought this at all, I'm finding, but I always wanted a way to change uh, your tool belts on the fly, like build tool belt profiles. You know, have mm -hmm. like a carpentry tool belt, 
<laughs> and then have be able to change to like my masonry tools or be able to change to something else like my harvesting tools like on the fly well apparently there is a way to do that and I figured it out and I think at some point I would like to share it with you guys yeah, that's going to be a, a whole episode. I, I still haven't figured it out. I love and just it. other other key Look binds. Look at this. Tricks, Look at this. I can episode. I can change all these keybinds. Oh, and I got to follow Moncton. And if I just do this, bam! You saw that change. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Moncton is on his way Moncton out. Moncton is nice. on his way. Let's see. Connect can't go through. Sneak through. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing is like, you've run so long, you've run so far, you want it in, now you'll never get out. And we introduce the fence maze. <laughs> this is something we wanted to do so badly, and at the time, we could not do it the way that we wanted. I don't know if you can explain how we wanted to do it. Oh, we had such a, an amazing envisionment for this uh, maze, and it uh, the de the devs seem to accommodate it a little bit, but we still haven't gone around too to actually late. doing it. Uh, okay, so here's the idea. Um, so you see the, the the fence maze. It looks um, like you can right, just go right through. Right you, now, some of the them exit. are just locked, and some of them are open, and it's just like a regular maze. And that's what we settled for. But uh, what we wanted it to be is a dynamic maze, one that changes periodically. <laughs> yeah, throughout the day. <laughs> throughout the day. Uh, now, what you could do is you can make it so that gates, certain gates, you can pick a specific gate and say, it's going to open at 2 o'clock. And then it's going to close back at, like, you know, 8 o'clock. <laughs> and it'll automate it so that 2 o'clock every worm, worm day, so this is... You know, every three hours is a worm day. So at two o'clock every worm day, it'll open, and at eight o'clock, it'll close. And so I had designed this massively complicated maze right that here. changes, and at no given time in the day could you make it through the entire maze. So <laughs> you could actually literally get stuck in yeah, this so fence maze. You <laughs> That's why it said you want it in. Now you will never. <laughs> Out, yeah, cause... so you go in and it's like this like small little boxed off area and you're like trying to get in and then the hour ticks and we figured out every hour is about seven and a half minutes. So seven and a half minutes ticks and boom, everything changes and now you're stuck in the middle. And then you're sort of like stuck in this little box in the middle and then then you know the hour ticks and you get stuck again in another box and you're trying to sort of make your way around and out to the exit. I made it so that it if you're paying attention to it and you know exactly how it's working, you can get out in three ticks. So, <laughs> in like one under two, 20 minutes. In under tw it, you can actually make it out in under 20 minutes, and actually 14 minutes, um, if if you if you're quick. So like maybe even 20 minutes or whatever. So, you, I mean, I was expecting people to be stuck in there up to possibly even an hour. So it was like you get to this point and it's like a whole other hour of of this and it would be just mm -hmm. the, the last bottleneck slash challenge of the now the problem at the time was that once we got to a hundred gates the game broke <laughs> we <laughs> broke the game <laughs> <laughs> it's like after a hundred gates the system just does not acknowledge that there's any more gates and you can't access the gate system at all it yeah we couldn't broken. program them uh, oh, so we sent it in as a bug, and then they fixed it, and then we just never got around to actually making it. Like, it was taking me days they to program it. They did fix it. it, but it was months after we finished it. Was it was months after, and then we were pretty much done. We had already run an event through here. Uh, it was taking me probably... It took me probably... Oh, Kaneka's drinking from the fountain. She's stand Oh, she found it. She yeah, it. Nice. awesome. Is she the last one? Or is Chonk still walking around? Chonk is still walking around. Oh. He just said, it's brilliant in an evil way. <laughs> <laughs> Moncton's still trying to figure it out, and he's going every single direction through this fence maze, except the way to go. <laughs> yeah, like, even now that the fence maze is a constant I think, one. yeah, like, we had a brilliant idea, I believe, with, like, the whole idea of ch changing fence maze. 
I think look, <laughs> looking back at it might have been a little too much if we actually <laughs> did that. <laughs> Imagine at this point. I think it's more fun this way. Yeah. Like if, all if, he has to do is find the correct way, and it's kind of confusing. Right. That's right. But if eventually it was the way we wanted it, it I think that um, yeah, I, I think that we would drive people insane. See, look at Monk. He's going every way except that way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Like we knew going into this new design of the gate maze, like the straightforward one, that we had to make it more challenging than just pushing your way through and making it to the end. So it is, it is a you got to figure out the one way that's going to make it to the end. There is a bottleneck. Yeah, this is a traditional maze. Traditional. Uh, yeah. Like you could continue to go left, 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 or right, 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 and you're gonna make it to the end because that's how mazes are. It'll take you a while. All mazes are like that. Yeah, but it's very difficult. Try it. Like try designing a maze where you cannot solve it by just turning left, a left, two left, D left, maze. left. A two D maze. A two D. It's not easy. It's actually impossible. Uh, the only w way that we did it with the labyrinth is that we had the cave system that allowed us to not three D maze. <laughs> yeah, it was a three D maze. So here he goes. He finally, finally. It's going the right way. So he managed to go past the first bottleneck. Now he's, unfortunately... I lost track of Chunk, but I think Kaneko made it into the... into the houses area. We are making Stop. it through with Moncton. <laughs> and is almost through. Come on, Moncton. You can do it. <laughs> Everyone cheer him on, even though you can't Our video hear him. depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it. I know he can. Can we come see? It's been so long, I don't even remember the exit to this maze. Well, you've set me on... You know why? Because when you... Usually the way that it works is that uh, when you're actually part of the deed, like Adam is... You can just go through any fence anyway. That's right, and <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sort of like walking through, and I found him, but I... Yeah. I'll just stand here at the exit. Wait for him to come through. I am fairly certain he made it to another bottleneck. That he... We do have a surprise coming up if you've waited this long to see the end of the maze. Yes, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's actually fallen into every one of my traps almost. <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah. Every one of my traps. This is the, the way that he went is actually a dead end. You just can't see it. <laughs> it sort of is the way. Oh, that look it, who that it is. It's, uh, it's Pekka. Nice. This is very similar to how the last event, we, we ran one event here and it's like two people or, or one or two people made it to the end really quickly. And then the rest of the pack was just stumped. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna know one of you guys can do it? Yeah. Although Kaneka made it to the to the fountain, I'm pretty sure. How that did Chunk? That's... Chunk made it to the fountain. You think? Uh, I I lost track of Chunk. I didn't see. He might have. I can I can see. All right. Here we go. He's he's made it pretty far. This is good. Gonna go check this to to see how these guys are going. <laughs> we w there were a lot of compromises with this maze. We we there it were was. points there where was. we were thinking, let's make this as evil as we possibly could, and then we sort of you know what this is such back. uh yeah. This is such a held back maze. This is supposed to be easier. See how he managed to make it all the way through? Here we go. This is where the cool signs pop up. Oh, okay, it's you're like, at the beware. end. Beware. I have Home been stretch. generous up until now, <laughs> but I can be cruel. I'm like, uh oh. Here he goes. I'm going to help these guys through. Next sign. I've let you roam my labyrinth and been generous up until this point. Turn back. <laughs> now, a yeah, lot of these signs, oh. 
Oh, oh, Kaneka's gonna make it around the. Ooh, nice. I wish I could see that. <laughs> Although I think everyone's seen enough of this, <laughs> of that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our maintenance door. I know we we needed a way to get into our own labyrinth without that's going right. through our entire labyrinth, and that's it right there. That's right. Oh, she <laughs> Monkton slaps the statue of the demon. All right, so people that know the labyrinth movie will will kind of recognize these quotes. Stop, look what I offer you. Turn back now, and you can have anything you want. And as you can see, it almost looks like a dead end, doesn't it? But if you're climbing skill, not only do you get to, you get to the end, but you have a great view. <laughs> not anymore, it's just blocked by trees, but you used to have a great view of like the entire labyrinth. Maybe I should chop chop some of these trees down. Ooh, gonna run out of stamina. Are you climbing up the tower now? We're getting there. So at this point, you can see this is what we had to do to build a tower. <laughs> you can kind of see Now, we, see, last sign. With, with the tools that we have now, we I would put We would have, that's right. I said, just fear me, love me, do as I say, and I will be your slave. There's Moncton. So you notice what he needs to do. I don't want to do it for him. Alright, if you've come up to this point and you don't want to ruin, spoil the ending, I don't <laughs> like. I, I'm assuming, it. like, no one would have this issue. I'm going to wait here because he's actually. <laughs> going the wrong way uh, <laughs> oh but he's coming back to the right way he sees it now good all right yeah stop now stop now <laughs> I don't think there's anybody left but seriously and here's the last signs of the labyrinth you made it into the tower you made it through all of that it says you see the puzzle king and the village baby pig that's right <laughs> all this to save our baby pig and we, <laughs> we actually put a starving champion goblin here who's sitting in the wall right now. He's the we goblin found king one. <laughs> He's the, the goblin <laughs> king. <laughs> we always we always wanted one, and now yeah. we actually had the ability to get one. We found one just recently. Anyway, last sign. It says, "Quick, tell the puzzle king you have no power over me, and make a leap of faith." In here. You actually have to jump down. If you make it into the cave, you don't get hurt. And into our congratulatory exit. Nice and shiny. And a couple signs. Here's the last few signs. You have defeated the Puzzle King and saved the village baby. Your heroism shall not be forgotten. And your name shall live on forever in history. Yay, Chonk Lord. Congratulations. <laughs> and everyone that's followed, congratulations. You made it through our labyrinth. We hope you enjoyed uh, the very last part here. He's healing himself. <laughs> Maybe he didn't make it. <laughs> no, he's healthy. And now you just go through our exit. And we do say congratulations on completing Puzzle Labyrinth. Congratulations is spelt wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, please take one trophy as a token. So we actually provide just like a small statuette. Oh, and there's the chest that opened. Oh, you nice. can see it. Nice animation. So everyone can take one labyrinth trophy. It's just a statuette around level 30. They have decayed a little bit. And then we have this little key return drop off box. And there you go. That's our labyrinth. I'll pick this up. That is our labyrinth. We hope you we enjoyed ho it. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed Labyrinth as Moncton goes up here and he can take his little trophy and uh, they actually look kind of cool. Uh, you could you could have seen it a little bit, but I'll just show you guys what it looks like. It's just a little statuette. Little man with a sword and a shield. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed the Labyrinth. I know it's been a long episode, but... We hope you'll join us next week where we go back to our regular scheduled 
I don't know, regularly scheduled episodes. Who knows what it'll be? I don't even know yet. And we'll see you guys on the next Saturday Night Factional Fight. Play Swarm Online. See you guys.